Hi, I'm Russ with Awesome Geekness, and this is a demo of Nameshark Group Creator. Group Creator allows you to create Nameshark groups on your computer and then import them into your phone. To use Group Creator, first browse to the Nameshark website, namesharkapp.com, and click on the Group Creator link. In Group Creator, you can set your group name and add contacts to your group. In this case, I'm creating a group called Volunteers. If you already have photos on your hard drive, there's a couple different ways to add them. First is by clicking on the empty photo icon and selecting the photos from your hard drive. The other way is to drag them from Finder or Explorer directly onto the Group Creator webpage. Notice the first and last name of the contact get populated by the file name. So if your photos are already named first space last, you're all set. If they're named something else, you can just edit the name in Group Creator. Suppose you don't already have the photo of the contact on your hard drive. If you can find their photo online, you can copy and paste it into Group Creator. In this case, I found Benjamin Larson on Facebook. I copy his photo, switch back to Group Creator, and paste it in. As of right now, copying and pasting images is only working in Google Chrome. Hopefully we'll support other browsers soon. As you would expect, you can edit the contact details as well. In this case, each volunteer has a day assigned to them, so I add it to the details. Sorting contacts is easy. You just drag the contacts around. In this case, I decided I want my volunteers group sorted by the day they volunteer. Exporting the group is really simple. Just scroll to the bottom of the page and click export. As long as the group name is set and all of the contacts have at least one name assigned, your browser will automatically download the group file. In order to get the group you've created onto your phone, you need to have a Dropbox account. If you don't already have an account, it's free, so pause this video and sign up for one now. Log into your Dropbox account and upload the file you've created. The file will be named whatever you call the group, plus it'll have a .json extension. Mine is called volunteers.json. Now that the group is created and uploaded to Dropbox, I switch over to my phone. Open the Nameshark app and select the plus button on the top right. Choose import a group using Dropbox. If you haven't installed the Dropbox app, you'll be prompted to install it. If you're not logged in, you'll also be prompted to do so. Once logged in, choose the file you uploaded. Nameshark will download the file and create your group on your phone. Note, if you already have a group with the same name, it'll get overwritten. Before I end this tutorial, I want to show one more feature of Group Creator. If after you've exported your group, you find you want to go back and make changes, you can. Just import your exported group the same way you add photos. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and thank you especially for using Nameshark. If you have any questions or feedback, please email support at awesomegeekness.com. Thanks.